Turning to the 2016 race, Hollywood traditionally more liberal, but is there a conservative movement growing? My next guest is one actor who's not afraid to be Republican in Hollywood and supports Donald Trump. Joining us right now is actor and singer Robert Davi. Robert, good to Hi, see you. Good to see you, Maria. So you're a supporter of Donald? Yes, I am. Why? Well, because I f I've written about it in, on Breibart. I think he's a, he has authenticity about him. He's something that resonates. Definitely. I started writing about him when I was watching his acceptance speech before the, well, the pundits were saying he was a joke and everything else. And I said, I want a leader that's, that has bold colors, red, white, and blue. All right, so he has bold colors, and he definitely uh, is, is, is tough. But does he have the goods in terms of nuance. the knowledge and, and, and in terms of the leadership that is required to be dealing with foreign presidents, to be dealing with some of the serious issues that we've got? Look at president. Vladimir Putin. Who do you want to go up against Putin? I want a guy sitting at the table like Donald Trump that's going to go up against these leaders. Also, you, I respect Newt Gingrich, all right? There's no one probably more intellectually in, in terms of our country and, and, and policy than Newt Gingrich. And he even said about uh, the, the, he read an article about uh, Trump and Mubarak and the subtlety of Trump's ideology and idea behind that. Right. Sure, there was that bit, bit of stump, but that's kind of like, to me, you need to have someone have a vision for the country, inspire the country, and you'll get the best leaders. You'll get the best people around. I believe Trump would pick, like he has Carl Icahn for China and Japan. Right. He will pick a, a general that says, okay, what's our issue here? But do we really want, like, Carl Icahn, I mean, dealing with with these countries? I, I don't. I, I think that that's where it gets a little little dicey. I mean, how do you think about the other side of his, his like, do you think he has any security problems? Do you think that he can handle a real person coming at him as opposed to just talking at people? Do you think he'll look like a leader who can empathize? You know, again, and no one talks about this. I think his, his roots were, he went to the church that, that Norman Vincent Peale went to. He listened to the, the power of positive thinking right. and Norman Vincent Peale. He doesn't talk about his religious thing. It's not on his sleeve. Also, his children. I know his son, Eric. I've met him a couple of times. Mm. These are great kids. They're great, they're great kids. They're great kids. Yeah. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So you have to say to yourself, and, and, and I'll give you a story. And, and, and I don't know him personally at all. Right. I don't want to do The Apprentice. I never wanted to do The Apprentice. <laughs> no, no I, have no, I have no skin in the game with this. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what it was was, I remember I was in uh, Palm Beach, and I did a, a charity event there, uh, singing. Yeah. And uh, a kid that worked, Hispanic kid that worked at mar lago in the back. Right. I said, well, hey, how was Donald Trump? This is before he ran. This is months ago. He goes, unbelievable. He would come back, stay, come back to the kitchen and give $100 to the staff. Yeah. He would give these guys quietly. Nobody Amazing. would know about Amazing. that. I mean, I, you know, I... I, I Robert, we'll, we'll read you on uh, Breitbart. You're writing on yes, Breitbart a yes, lot, yes. huh? Yes, yes, yes. We'll read you, uh, Robert Davi. It's got to be tough being, uh, being a moderate or a Republican in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, we'll be right back.